Good morning. Pastors Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all our church family, NBC family, all the visitors that are joining us by audio and video. Yeah. Praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Yes. Amen. So praise God. We're going, to, we're going to continue with a new start, mm -hmm. a new beginning of 2022. Yes. Amen. You have a choice. If you want to continue with the wrong or the bad, or you want to continue with the new, it's wow. about time we turn the page over Amen. and start new with him. Amen. Yes. He wants good things for you. It, you you have to make this choice. But I hope and I hope and believe that you will make that change. Amen. Yes. Before we get going, grab your Bibles, grab your sword, soldier of God, and let's make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. This is my Bible. Mm -hmm. I am what it says I am. Yes. I have what it says I have. Yes. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I'm wholly convinced. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. My spirit is receptive. Amen. Receive what God has for you. Amen. Sometimes he uses different people to bring the message. But be receptive of what God has. If you hear something and it's not scriptural, don't take it. That's Just it. put it on the shelf. Amen. That's but it. if it's scriptural and it's the word of God, take it. Say, man, I received yes. that. Amen. You know, somebody come tell you say anything and you say, man, I received that. That's good. I like that. Huh. But is it good for you? Yeah. Hey, think about that. Amen. Yeah. So we're going to continue with a new beginning, a new start in 2022. Yeah. Present on daily with the new me. Yeah. The new you. Amen. Or the change you. I'm making a change. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you make a change, it's just not for a little while. Right. It's not just for a little bit. I can yeah. say words, but I still have to follow with some action. I need to live it. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So start every day according to uh, Psalms 118.24. Well, the Happy New Year. And this is good. I kept it because I like the, uh, the Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And it says... Trust in the Lord with what? With all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, in all your ways, in all your ways, yes. submit to him and he will make your path straight. If you don't know where you're going, you better look to him. Amen. Go the right way. Yeah. Amen. It's your choice. You can go the wrong way if you want to, but only take one step back yes. for him to be there for you. Amen. To meet you. Amen. So all of you joining us, Happy New Year. Yeah. Have a Happy New Year. Amen. Keep going. Amen. We have quite a few of these things I want to share with you. This is our, our text here. Philippians 3, uh, 12 through 14, the New Living Translation says, I don't mean to say that I have already achieved those things or mm -hmm. that I have already reached perfection, mm -hmm. but I press on to press, yes. uh, excuse me, possess the perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. Uh -huh. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved That's right. it. But I focus on the one thing, forgetting the past uh -huh. and looking forward to what is ahead, lies right. ahead. I press on. Amen. I press on. I, says I. Mm -hmm. I press on Amen. to reach the end of the race yes. and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is Amen. calling us. Jesus has called you. You yes. have a, call, a calling in your life. Amen. You didn't know, but now you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's called you and he's equipped you to fulfill your race. Amen. Amen. He didn't put you here to fail. He That's put it. you here to win. Amen. So you be a winner. And it still is your choice. Amen. You can receive it and win, or you can just reject it yes. and lose. With him, we're everything. Amen. Without him, nada. We're nothing. Amen. Yeah. Let's remember this. Amen. Amen. I uh, think I gave you last, like, this last week. She said, it's hell without Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's hell without Jesus. Keep going. <laughs> oh, sure. We have, we have a whole lot of new, new little ones for you. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, what? He's a new creation. You're new. The new creation has come and the old has gone. The new is here. St. Corinthians 5, 17. Go and read it. Underline these things and put your name there. Amen. You're a new creature in Christ. The new is in. The old is out. So when people bring your past, you let them know. <laughs> That's not me. I don't live there anymore. Amen. Just let it go. Keep going. Yeah. 
And you see the, you saw the uh, butterfly? Keep going, go back, Darby. I chose that one because you see the butterfly. It used to be a cocoon, used to be a caterpillar, whatever it was. And, but now it's a beautiful butterfly. And we see a butterfly, man, that's a beautiful butterfly. Beautiful, how God created things that are so beautiful, amen? So he made a change, and it made a change. It was transformed, and it's gonna transform you also. Amen? Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. People don't see the spiritual birth. They only see the physical you. That's it. Amen? But you start changing what you say, your, 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 your speech, and your living, and people know, say, wow, they want to make a change. They want to go. They don't want to be around you no more. Mm -hmm. Keep going. That's it. Yeah, like this. Oh, and this is where it started. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. life. Choose God yeah. and have life. Choose God and live. Uh -huh. Amen. John 3 16. Keep going. And this is as we start a new year, as we start a new day, seek him first. Yeah. Have your priorities in order. Uh -huh. I don't know what your priorities are, but seek him first. Yes. Put God first. I don't care if you just wake up and say, thank you, Lord, for waking me up. And just be there for him. And he's there for you. But seek him first. Amen. And all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, uh, 33. Yeah. Seek first the kingdom of God. Keep going. There we go. And uh, I just talked to you about this. Jesus says to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. me. John 3 16 it. it's scriptural yes so there's no other way I don't care who says what or anything you know there's another way no there's no other way no and uh, the handout I gave you that says all religion says this is the way only Jesus says I am the way amen keep going here we go oh. this is the day the Lord has made I will rejoice or we or I, put your name there, will rejoice and be glad in it. Psalms 118, 24. And go to the next one. And this is where I want to, I put it up for you, for you to see. Psalms 118, 24, New King James says, This is the day, this is the new day, the new year, the new beginning, the Lord has made. The Lord has made this. God has given or prepared us or prepared you for this new day. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you line up with the word of God, line up with him and serve him. Amen. And it says, we or I will rejoice, celebrate joyfully and be glad, be happy, eager, willing, ready, Amen. prepared and pleased. I want you to see this. This is something that we need to put on the side and look at it every day. Not just so once in a while. Thank you, Lord, for giving me another day to serve. Yes, you. yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Man, this is good. Yes, it is. Praise God. All right. <laughs> Praise God. Praise so, Happy New Year, church. Happy New Year to all those who are watching. Yeah. And we're going to start making a new start this new year. Oh, How? Yeah. We're keeping our priorities in order. Mm -hmm. Thanking God for this is a new day. Yes. A new year He's given us. Amen. And we're going to use the word star, acronym. If you go there, Carmen. Here we go. Start. 2022. How do I start? First of all, S stands for stop all my distractions. Uh -huh. I don't know what your distractions are. I can take care of mine, but you take care of yours. Amen. Stop those distractions that are holding you or keeping you from serving Him or being uh -huh. full time for Him. Amen. Leave the past behind. Seek Him first. Turn Amen. the old page and open the new page. Amen. Um, Remember insanity? Uh -huh. Doing the same things, the same sin, the same troubles, the same problems over and over, every day, yeah. same day, same year, over and over, that, and that. expecting different results. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's insanity. Yes, it is. Because you're not doing anything. I think I told you last week that it's like the little hamster on a wheel. Mm. <laughs> Man, he's getting it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's, he's getting it, making nowhere. that thing scream, you know? <laughs> but he's not getting anywhere. Yes, it is. So let's 
make a change. Amen. Uh -huh. Let's make a change. Acts 20 and 24 says, But none of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish my race yeah. with joy in the ministry which I received from God. Which you receive it from? From God. You received it from Him. He's given yes. you a call. He's given yes. you a ministry of yes. reconciliation. That's it. So you have responsibility. Yes. That's good. Which I receive from the Lord Jesus mm -hmm. to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Mm. So you bring the good news, you know. You don't have to join the crowd with the bad news. Yes. There's all kinds of sad news, oh, bad news, yes. whatever you want to call it. Plenty, plenty. But you know, you bring the good news. Mm -hmm. Bring a smile to their face. <laughs> Amen. This is what the Living Bible says. My life is worth nothing unless I use it for doing the work assigned me by the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Who assigned you? Him. Yes. Who gave you life? Him. <clears throat> Amen. The work of telling others the good news of about God's wonderful kindness and love. You know what God is? God is love. God is compassion. And we must do the same thing. We're to be imitators of Christ. That's what the Bible says. So let the love and compassion of God flow mm -hmm. through you every day as you go. Instead yeah. of saying bad things, say the right things. You know, mm -hmm. as soon as you leave the house, somebody going to cut you off. Somebody going to oh. do something. And it's really going to make you mad. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to want to greet them, you know, with a word. Or you want to greet them with your hands. <laughs> and, and say something you want to say. Or whatever, you know. Mm. We, we, we're not to do this, amen. Yes, yes. It says by Paul was sold out, believer for God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing: is we need to be sold out. I guarantee you, when I was in the world, I was sold out for the world. Mm. I was a party going somewhere to happen. Yeah. <laughs> and you look, don't look so innocent. Yeah. <laughs> I was the party going somewhere to happen, you know. Yeah. Things didn't happen until I arrived. Oh, yeah. you know? I was sold out to whatever, okay? I was, man, oh, hallelujah, I can tell you some things there. <laughs> My life belongs to this world, but now I made a change, man. I'm so left for God. Amen. Amen. Ready for anything. Staying on fire for God. Yeah. Staying connected. Staying yeah. plugged in with Him, you know. Don't disconnect, you know, because what yes. happens when you disconnect, when your, your battery runs low, it's a dead battery. Yeah. we got to keep our spiritual batteries charged all the time. You let them go, and the world's going to have you. You know, somebody's yeah. going to say something, somebody's going to do something, <laughs> and they're going to have you, and you know what? It's going to come from you. Uh -huh. What you say is going to come from you. Is it going to be positive or negative? Only you can change that. So... Paul was determined, focused, unwavering, steady. Paul was totally surrendered, totally committed to the Lord. This is what Jesus was when he came. He was totally surrendered to the Father. Uh -huh. And he was doing the Father's will. Yeah. And we must also be yeah. sold out and do yes, his will. Yes. Paul separated himself from all the things that were distracting him. Uh -huh. If you and I are going to get a new year or a new start this year, Get rid of all distractions that hinder right. us. Amen. Yes. And hinder means <laughs> get away, delay, hold back. Family, friends, co-workers, entertainments, whatever. Oh, boy. Uh, beware. And somewhere in there, Carmen, I'm sorry, but uh, there's uh, some distractions that you can find. <laughs> <out>. <laughs> And you can do these things because the Bible says in Philippians 4.13, it says, I can do all things yes. through, Christ through Christ who strengthens me. me. <laughs> Lord, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. how, many, how many times do you think Jesus went to the Father and says, Father, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. He was a human. Yes. Lord, I need your strength to carry on. Yes. To go through the things he went through and the beatings he went through mm -hmm. and the crucifixion he went through. Yeah. He needed the Father's strength. Yeah. And you know they tried to kill him and still couldn't kill him mm -hmm. until he surrendered himself to the Father. Yes. That was the only time. Hallelujah. You couldn't find him? Is that it? Ah, here yeah, we here we go. Beware of these killers in 2022. Oh, yes. What, what killers are we talking about? Uh -huh. Dream killers, Dream killers passion, passion killers, killers mission, mission killers, killers, motivation killers, time, time killers, killers, vision and goal, goal killers. killers. Mm. You'll run across these people many times. Oh, you don't have to do that. 
you can do it some other time, you know. No, right now it's party time, you know. No, Let's go you. and do it. You say, oh, okay, you know, I'll put it aside. But you beware of these killers. And they what they do is they didn't fulfill their dreams, so they want you not to fulfill your dreams. Right, right. Amen? Mm -hmm. So beware of this. If you know, if you're sold out for God, you wouldn't fall for this. That's it. Amen? And that's what Jesus went through. And we need to go through the same thing. All the Bible heroes you talk about were not perfect. Mm -hmm. They had sin in their life. Yes. But still God used them. Yes, and yes. they were focused to fulfill what God yes. gave them to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, thank you, Carmen. <laughs> Praise <go>. God. <laughs> Hebrews 12 and 1 says, and the easy to read version says, we have all these great people, these faith heroes around us as examples. Their lives tells us that faith, what what faith means. Mm -hmm. So we too should run the race, the new year, this new day, that is before us, and never quit. We should remove from our lives anything that will slow us down, weigh us down, and the sin that so easily makes us makes us fall. Mm -hmm. You know what it is, yeah. so you confess it to Him, give it to Him, Amen. Yeah. Because this is what God says in Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. From the easy to read version says mm -hmm. this i say this because i know the plans i have for you yes this message is from god mm -hmm. i have good plans for you mm -hmm. i don't plan to hurt you That's and right. i plan to give you a hope and a good yes. future yes. he plans to use you all you need to do is make yourself available okay. i have plans for you guys god says mm -hmm. i didn't say it he says i yes. have plans for you and you put your name there Mm -hmm. Whatever whatever your name is, you put your name there. Mm -hmm. I have plans for you. Mm -hmm. And all these plans are great. None yeah. of them include the feet. That's it. But you have to fulfill what he's called you to do. Amen. And you have to make the right choices. If we're going to succeed and run and complete our new year, we have to stop all distractions. Yeah. We must fight a spiritual battle daily. With him, we win. Without him, we lose. Yeah. yeah. It's a spiritual battle. So guess what? If you try to fight it physically, you lose. Mm -hmm. We need to be in the Word yes. and get the Word in us. Yes. And let the Word come out of us. Yes, yes. When the Word comes out, it says, Out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. The Word's going to come out of you. Man, I can't believe that came out of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was you. Mm -hmm. But you confess the Word and you used to curse the Word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, don't look so innocent now. <laughs> what are some of your distractions? Sin, confess it, admit it, quit it. First, uh, First John one nine. We can write that down. Stuck in the past, you're camped out in years behind. Many, many, many years. You still remember it. You know, if you still remember it, you never let it go. It's time you confess it and let it go. Yes. Amen. Just let it go. Let it go and let God mm -hmm. give it, cast it to Him. Don't let anyone or anything hold you back. Yeah. Don't let anyone or anything hold you That's back. It. That's it. They were trying to hold Jesus back. Mm -hmm. But he didn't let no one hold That's him it. back. Amen. Amen. So don't let no one hold you back. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Holding on to cares, holding on to hurts, mm -hmm. hurting on to guilt, grief, grudges. Let it go. Here's some a few other distractions. Mm -hmm. Family, oh, friends, co workers, mm -hmm. uh, a few setbacks, mm -hmm. bad habits, mindsets, strongholds, lack of faith. You know why you get lack of faith? Because mm -hmm. you stop spending time in the Word, because you yeah. stop spending time with Him. When you feed in the Word, it grows your faith. Mm -hmm. And when your faith grows, fear has to go. Yeah. And when you're fearful, it means that. <coughs> You're lacking in your faith. Mm -hmm. So you got to just study the Word. Yes. Get in the Word. Get the Word yes. in you and get all the fears out of you. Yes. Amen? Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> well, this is for me now. Stop making excuses. Mm -hmm. God is not looking for perfect people. Mm -hmm. He's looking for available mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Also, remember, all Bible heroes were not perfect. Yes, yes. God used them. Yes, he is. And we've gone over the list of all the people yeah. God used. He even uh -huh. used a, uh, let's say, donkey. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he can use me. Uh -huh. 
Amen. <laughs> if I want a new start this year, I have to stop making excuses for my past failures. Yeah, you failed. So what? You confessed it. Quit yeah. bringing it up. And you know what? People are going to remind you of it. So you say, you know what? That's not me anymore. I'm a new me. And you have to tell them time and time again, because you know what? Because the enemy is going to use people. And you go bring it up over and over and over. And you have to keep telling them, that's the, I'm a new person. That's not me. I don't live there no more. The past is gone. You know what you got to do with your past? Release it. Release it. Release it. Somewhere, there you go. God has a plan for you. Find the one that says uh, about the trash can uh, permit. The only person that can ruin your life is you. You are the only one that can ruin your life. Nobody can ruin your life without your permission. Right. That including the devil. That's it. So important you confess your say-sos and your faith-filled words and not the problem. Mm -hmm. We talked about that last week. Confess your, your say-sos. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. Yeah. I'm strong. I'm healthy. I'm creative. I'm faithful. I'm uh, focused. I'm attractive. I'm valuable. I'm an overcomer. I'm yes. a conqueror. I'm well-liked. Yeah. All these things. I overcome every obstacle. This is my year of breakthrough. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. God is God is greater. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Yes. Amen. Praise God. There you go. You see, I put this up here so you can see. <laughs> it's a trash can. But you know, what do you put in the trash? You put trash. That's your sin, sin, sin trash. <laughs> Every day, bring it, dump it, give it. It says, cast it on me. Give it to him. Go to the next one, come. Oh, next one. Uh, go back to uh, the one that says to release it. There we go. Release, this is what you do is release the past. Yeah. Nobody, nobody can release it for you. You release it. it. You gotta let it go. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we we've said enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll go to the next one, but I have I'll say this. We have we have overcome. Mm -hmm. So we might we we magnify we magnify our problem more than we magnify our God. Mm -hmm. Amen. So yeah. let's remember to learn from our mistakes. Yes. Amen. Let's learn. Be learners and not uh, failures. We're not. We we uh, we don't we don't want to fail. We want to learn. That's it. Amen. God not looking for perfect people. He's looking those for our valuable. Mm -hmm. Amen. And He wants to use you. Be available and stop making excuses. Yeah. So we're gonna go on to the next one. We're gonna move on to take inventory of your life. Mm. Amen. All right. Galatians 3 and 4 says this You have suffered so much For the gospel Now are you going to throw it All aboard I, I can hardly believe Learn from your mistakes Failures can be your friend Or your enemy uh -huh. And that's where the enemy wants to keep you Remind you of your mistakes Remind you of your mm -hmm. setbacks Your failures You determine if failure can be a friend or a foe By the way yeah. you react to it you can choose to learn from it or you can choose to repeat it over and right. over and over. If you do, that's insanity. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So what have I going, going for me? I've got Jesus. I've got a new year, a new beginning. Amen. I've got my health. I've got, I am mentally sound. I've got my freedom. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and I've got my church family. Amen. I've got my church family. They can pray for me. They can be with me. That I can go to. And be encouraged. He says, do not forsake the assembly of yourselves yes. together. I have a church family I can go to. Amen. Amen. You know, when I was out in the streets, I had a family too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Them guys would yeah. do anything for me. <laughs> That's my family. They would protect me. Yeah. But now I've got a new family. Amen. And it's my church family. Amen. Amen. <laughs> when we start a new year, we need someone by our sides. Uh -huh. And who's going to be by our sides? Mm -hmm. Jesus. Proverbs 18, 24 says, a man who has friends 
must himself be friendly. Uh -huh. And there's a friend who sticks closer yeah. than a brother. Yeah. You know, when you need him, he's right there. Yeah. You're never alone if you're lonely. <laughs> That's it. It's because you're not having a relationship. That's it. Have a relationship because he's always there. Yeah. You have a support group and you have, again, a church family. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus will help us to pull our lives together mm -hmm. and make sure we get a new start. Yeah. Amen. Um, I do have a message. It's called God of a Second Chance. Uh -huh. Some of us have had a second chance and a third <laughs> chance and a fourth <laughs> chance and on and as long as you want. And you know uh -huh. what? He'll give you a chance. Yes, he will. Over and over and over. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. We're the ones that walk away. Mm -hmm. So we need to come home. We yes. need to come home. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And A is act in faith. Mm -hmm. Stepping out in faith for this new year, 2021. It says the just shall walk by faith. Mm -hmm. We walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. The Bible says the key to changing anything takes Amen. faith. Change your circumstances yeah. takes faith. Changing your personality takes faith. Changing anything in your life takes change. Amen. Romans 1.17 says, Therefore, it is righteousness of it is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith and is written, the just, the just shall live by faith. We're to live by faith. Amen. Praise God. And there's several scriptures. But anyway, Matthew 9 29 says, in the New Life Version says, Then Jesus put his hands on their eyes and said, You will have what you want because of your faith. So your words are powerful. You can have what you say. So let's say the right things, amen? Very simple. What you are expecting in 2022? Better, worse, or the same is your choice. Better is hot for God. Worse is cold. <laughs> and same is lukewarm. Let's stay hot for God, amen? amen? Let's stay hot for God. Still, it's your choice. Act in faith, doing something positive. Don't repeat the same mistakes and sins over and over again. That's it. Amen. Act in faith means you got to stop having your pity parties. Oh, boy. Stop feeling sorry oh, for yourself. Stop the old poor me attitudes. We have a, a rack over there with a bunch of attitudes. And the be attitudes is what kind of attitudes I can have. It don't have to be a bad attitude. It could be a good attitude, a positive attitude. So praise God. I'm such a victim of life. Life is so unfair to me. You hear these things all the time. And we pick them up and we start repeating these things. And we shouldn't because that's not what the Word of God says about us. Amen. We need to test the right things. We stop rehearsing and regretting the past. The more times we spend regretting our past, the more our future is wasted. Whatever you focus on the most, you'll reproduce in life. You can have what you say. Amazing. And how is that? You can have what you say by the words you speak. Amen. So watch your words. That's it. Don't repeat the same things over and over. <coughs> Charles Cap says this. I have told my people, well, God told Charles Cap this, he said, I have told my people what they can say or what they can have, but my people keep saying what they have. I've told my people what they can have, but they keep saying what they have. Uh -huh. He's telling us, you're blessed, yes. you're free, you're released, and we keep saying what we have. We're magnifying the problem more than we're magnifying our God. Let's confess what the Word says and not what, what, what the problem is. As we start this new year, remember, words are the most powerful things in the universe. They can defeat you or they can bring you life. Don't live another day or another year without starting a day or a new year, releasing the ability of God's through faith-filled words. Your say-sos. And we got a whole list of say-sos. Amen. But you got to pin them up and start confessing them. I'm blessed. I'm an overcomer. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. Confess. See yourself the way God sees you. See yourself the way the Bible says about you. Not the way people say. And then you start believing those things. <clears throat> Acts 
act in faith for the future and look to him for guidance. How do you get rid of fear and failure? Second Timothy 1, uh, 1 7 says this. In the New English translation says, God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of self-control. God, God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen. So he's not giving you fear. It takes uh, faith to do the things God has called us to do. Also, the things you fear the most. Step out in faith this, this new year and every day. Stop worrying about what others and the devil say or think about you. That's it. Amen. Stop worrying about that. What does God say about you? Amen. That's all you have to that's all you have to believe. Okay. Not what people say, not what the enemy says, but what you say. What the word of God says. You know when the enemy is going to use your mind. The mind is the battlefield. And you'll get thoughts. And you start thinking negative things. And you know, somebody told you this a long time ago and you're still thinking about it. It's time you release it. Release it. Let it go. Have a winning attitude. Through this new year. Jesus had a winning attitude. Mm -hmm. David, Daniel, and all the Bible heroes you talk about had a winning attitude. And so can I. That's what you want to say. I will have a winning attitude from this day on. From this year on. Amen. I'll have a winning attitude. Let this motivate you this new year. Philippians 4 and 3, uh, 13 says this. And you can pin this up anywhere. It says, I can do all things through Christ. Amen. Who, uh, which strengthens me. Hebrews 11, 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. That means relationship. You're seeking Him always, not just sometimes, not just once in a while, not just when things are going well, <laughs> but all the time. Be there. And He's like, He's there for you all the time. Amen. Hallelujah. The R is for renewing your mind. We got to renew our minds. That's what the enemy attacks the most. Our minds is the battlefield. And we got to renew our minds with the word of God. If you don't renew your mind, you'll fall. You'll fail. You don't want to do that. Start a new year by having yourself and your mind renewed by not lagging behind. Stay renewed. Stay tuned with him. I know it sounds like a repeat, but we got to renew our minds. Romans 12 and 2 says this, don't change yourselves to be like people of this world, but let God change you inside with a new way of thinking. Then you will be able to understand and accept what God wants for you. Yeah. You will not be able to know what is good and pleasing to Him and what is perfect. So, let's renew our minds. Control your tongue. Speak faith-filled words. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Change your old thinking to new thinking. Yeah. You don't have to be thinking the same old things. You don't have to be thinking like anybody else. Just think for yourself. Amen. Let go of painful, hurtful memories or anything that tries to hold you back. That's it. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. You know, I keep getting these uh, memories. Well, it's time you let them go. Yeah. Okay? Renew your mind with the Word of God. Yeah. You're putting something else, I'm replacing it with the Word of God. Yeah. I'm renewing it with the Word of God. So I'm letting let go of painful, hurtful memories or anything that tries to hold you back. Yeah. Amen? We must stop seeing ourselves as people see us and start seeing ourselves the way God sees us. That's it. I mean, I can't say it any, any, any better than that. See yourself the way God sees you. Not the way people see you. Because you know what? People are never going to see you right. And people are always going to talk about you. Oh, yeah. And you know when they're talking to you about somebody, they can't wait for you to leave so they can talk to somebody about you. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> and the T is for trust God as I step out this new year, as I step out every day. You know, uh, one of, uh, well, there's a lot of Bible heroes, but I think about David when he stepped out to face Goliath. He said, well, you don't know what's facing me. You don't know what I'm facing. You don't, you don't know what I'm going through. 
But David, you know, he saw the big giant. And he stepped out in faith. He said, who's going to fight this giant? Nobody stepped out but David. And he only came to bring lunch to his brothers. He said, wait a minute. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine who's cursing my God? And he says, I'll fight him. He said, who are you? You're just a boy. See, people are going to talk about you. He says, you're just a boy. Go away. You know? They're going to disqualify you immediately. God has called you. God has qualified you. Yes. Amen. Immediately, he went to fight the giant. Uh -huh. And you know, when you step out that door on a daily basis, there's giants facing you. And you know what they are. You know? It's the world, people, uh, whatever it is. But you can face it in faith because God is with you. Amen? So trust God to help you succeed. Depend on Him. We cannot do it on our own. Proverbs 3 and 5 talks about trusting the Lord with all your heart mm -hmm. and lean not to your own understanding. That's it. Psalms 37 and 5 says, Give yourself to the Lord, mm -hmm. trust in Him, and He will help you. Yeah. He will help you. Yeah. Some people don't get it. <laughs> they stumble and fall so many times, year after year. Keep doing the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. Again, insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and over. Expecting different results. Uh -huh. God can change us if we accept and receive Him yes. as Lord and Savior. Yeah. When we receive, when we receive Him as Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. I'm going to make change, and yes. things are going to change. Yes. We can't live the same way. We can't hold on to the world and hold on to God That's it. and be right in the middle. No, you can't please both. You got to let go of one of them. Right. You, it's your choice. Which one you going to let uh -huh. go? Of? Let go of the world. Yes. Outward man will remain the same, but the inward man, mm -hmm. the spirit man, will change. Yes. Change is good. Yes, it is. Days change, years change, seasons change, oh, and yes. we must change. Yes. Amen. We're growing in the things of God. Yes. We're maturing in the things of God. Yes. And it's okay. Just Thank be you. steady, and you're going to grow in the things of God. You, you know what? You, you, it's not going to be instant, but it, it's, it, it'll happen. You'll be, you'll be growing in the things of God. Success in a Christian life is not trying harder, but living smarter. Let me write that down somewhere. Success in a Christian life is not trying harder, but living smarter. Give God control of your life and surrender to Him. Trust God. Amen. Zechariah 4 and 6 says, You will not succeed by your own strength or power, but by my spirit saith the Lord. We need Him. Whatever you do, everything points to Him. And you know, every answer is to Him. So we need to live for Him. Amen? Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. God specializes in new starts, new beginnings. Jesus Christ has the power to do that. God has forgiven your sins and forgotten your past. Oh, yeah. Believe that and accept that. Forgive yeah. and forget. Yes. You're a new person in Him. You're starting a new year, a new life with Him. Yes. And the Bible says you can do all things through Him. So in closing, <laughs> let me see. Yeah, there you go. A fresh start. Which ones we missed, Carmen? Uh, I, I know we missed a few. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Don't let someone who gave up on, the, on their dream talk to you out of yours. And this, hap this happens all the time. Praise God. Having a, a new start, a new year, 2022 is your, your choice. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 30 and 19 says this. Today, I'm giving you a choice of two, two ways. And I ask heaven and earth to be witness of your choice. You can choose life or death. The first choice will bring blessings the other choice will bring curse. So choose life. Then you and your children will live. That's Deuteronomy 20, uh, 30, 19. That's from the easy to read version. So repeat this with me. It says, Jesus, Jesus I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I, Lord and Savior. I, surrender, I surrender you. I surrender and you. will follow you. 
I will obey you. Thank you, Jesus, for paying the price for me. Thank you, Jesus, that you'll never leave me nor forsake me. And thank you, Jesus, for a new start in 2022. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And we're not going to close until Amen. we give you a chance. Those of you watching, those of you listening, yes. if you never accepted Jesus, mm -hmm. this is the time, you know. All you have to do is say, I've, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He's going to be there for you. Yes. He's going to receive you. And it's time to start living for him. Start walking with him and start learning with him and yes. start uh, going for him. Amen. Yes. Start serving him. Yes. So praise God, you can do all these things. All and you're, you're a new person. Old is out, new is in. So yes. praise God. Thank yes. you, Lord. If you have hurt in your body, just touch that area that needs a yes. touch. And uh, thank you, Lord, that by Jesus Christ I am healed because your word says. So yes. I rebuke that spirit of infirmity. Yes. My body, the Bible says, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yeah. Yes, my knee. My knee is healed. <laughs> my, healed. healed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. my mind is healed. Praise God. So thank you, Lord, that by Jesus Christ I am healed. Receive it. Receive it for yourself. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Amen. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, and it's time to give. Those watching or listening, just go to our website, nbcbigben.com. And if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And God bless you. We love you. Amen. Amen. Amen.